Hey, what's up guys? Um, once again, you probably know the radio with today's short show. Anyhow, um, we've been working with my friend company, Tactica 73, with Giancarlo, for a while with a different company, and one of the newest company we're working with was actually Mission First Tactical. Um, they've been selling their product for a little bit, so I actually visited that booth, and I like all that line, they got some interesting product, like um, new AR magazine and some other product AR related, but you always know that I'm more on a car guy, AK guy, that's not a surprise. And so I was looking for something that might be interesting for pimp my AKs. Uh, so end up pick up two, three items actually. Two of them works together. So if you want to consider two or three, it's up to you. Um, the first one is the an end guard for the AK 47 series. Very nice. It's called uh, it's it's called uh, Teco, and uh, it's composed of two parts. Well, they got two different serial numbers. I don't know if you can zoom it. Let me see if I can go closer. Sorry. Yep. Anyway, yeah. The first one is TP forty one four seven one RS, and the other one forty seven RS, and the other one to a TP forty seven A L L I R S. Uh, so pretty much one is the lower, of course, L, you can, and the other one is the upper. They can be purchased together, or you can buy only the lower part. Some people prefer to do that. Uh, it's a nice polymer material, very sturdy, as you can see. Not like some piece of plastic, cheap plastic. Um, it's a nice, uh, interesting uh, texture over here, and it's very easy to install. You may require a rubber mallet as usual. That's uh, for set screws, you're gonna put on the top, and then tie down, maybe if you want to use block like that, as usual. Uh, he has a red section at the top, two detachable red section, little red section on the side, it's up to you if you want to use it or not. And they give an interesting option on the bottom. You have another red section, red section, sorry, you can put whatever, end guard or whatever you prefer, or if you want to, you they provide an interesting cover for the rail, you can slide like this on the top, very easily, and you can just go old school. Uh, it has a pretty interesting texture, so it won't get slippery or anything. It's a really nice product. I was actually keep one eyes on it on Amazon for a while. Uh, the other thing or two things up to you if you prefer is the bull stocks, bull bull stocks. Um, it's very interesting, um, different design. It's kind of low profile. At the same time is pretty st sturdy. Uh, not heavy at all. It has two sling attachments. Um, the way you install it as usual is like every air magazine, uh, sorry, uh, stock. I pull this level over here, slide on the top of the stock uh, buffer tube, and, and that's it. You're pretty much good to go. Um, it has a compartment on the back, you can access. Just pushing two, these two buttons down. Let me see if I can do it with one hand. And it's a pretty decent inch, so it doesn't look like it's going to break easily. Uh, it's a compartment inside, it's pretty easy to access. Um, and pull it, whatever is inside. They provide an Allen key that you might need in the next step. And in comparative, can be easy like said, you can pull this part. If you put, want to put something in there, if you want to just leave this item, it's up to you. Um, like I said, you just close down the butt, like the pad, like this. Stop. And he has a rubber pad, um, but you can put your arm. It's actually very firm. It seems like it gives you a pretty good grip. It's all rubber, so it doesn't bother your arm. I shoulder, sorry. <clears throat> then the other step, upgrade if you want to, is the BACP. It's a cheek razor, pretty much, uh, that goes this way. The way to install it is pretty much there is a, a key over here that you can, sorry, screws over here, you're gonna um, untie with the, the key they provide. Slide it over here, you go get right at this point over here, and you snap it. You're gonna hear a snap actually, so you close, keep it closed and tight and you tie down the screws again you put it back you and after other than that you can decide which aid you want to keep the cheek razor uh, just using this screw over here and moving and sliding up and down this section over here um other than that i like it um i'm gonna take a, a post a picture with the with the, the stock installed um 
Um, I don't think there's anything else to say between this one and the Magpul one that I was using before this one as the cheek raise that uh, you know help a little bit with the aiming with the AK. Uh, it's notorious having that issue. Mm, other than that, I've never been a fan of the collapsible stock in NAR. So you know that's always uh, an option that you can decide or like. But at least if for different eight of person, it might give a different option. You know, for small people, you know. Taller people, it's a little bit better, so you can adjust the stock a little bit for your uh, necessity. Um, do I recommend the product? Yes, I do. I like them. I think, uh, as far as price goes, they're not too terrible expensive. Uh, I think they're, the one is goes around 70. Those two, I don't remember. I think, like, together, like 200 bucks, something like that. So, yeah, I think they're worth the money indeed. Uh, if you have any other questions, let me know. And you thank you for watching and stay safe, okay? Have a good night.